Hello, my Choo Choo family. Today is not going to be your typical Choo Choo Keto vlog because I'm officially ending my one year and a half for being on keto. I'm sure you know the reason by now with my huge long playlist of combating keto rash. <sighs> I'm sad to say it, it has gotten worse, especially around my butt and my inner thigh area. I'll show you my picture at the end so I don't scare most of you with my butt crack. I mean, it could be many reasons that cause this keto rash, but after an year and a half to figure out the real reason, I think I'm just getting tired with it because keto rash is just like a regular rash that it gets itchy and especially at night when I'm sleeping. In fact, I will wake up in the middle of the night because of this itchiness and imagine this happened almost every day for the past one and a half year. Well, sort of. In a way, I have to say, I could stay on this ketogenic diet as long as I want, but it had zero point other than keeping you updated with my rash. Who knows? Maybe I'm actually slowly killing myself because I could not find the remedy and it's like cancer when you cannot find a treatment for it. And to be honest with you though, even though I'm pretty positive about all these positive effects on extreme fat diet, I guess since I'm quitting keto after being on this one and a half year, let's review some of the side effects that I had and had not experienced being on keto that many of keto gurus out there had mentioned about. Choo choo! Number one, constipation and diarrhea. Yes, I had both. Especially when I first ever started before the keto rash, I had issue with diarrhea with MCT oil and the constipation during the first two months. Number two, cramps. Mm, I still have it. I have leg cramps at night when I sleep and even two days ago, I had it again and it could be genetics, right? Because I always had cramps, but being on keto diet, it has definitely gotten worse. Number three, the keto flu. I think I only had keto flu for the first two weeks when I was getting into it. It was making me dizzy, drowsy, uh, lack of energy, but I was over it much quickly. Uh, it wasn't that bad, I have to say, compared to the keto rush. Number four, reduce exercise performance. Hmm. I mean, I didn't really work out when I first started keto. So uh, when I start working out, that's when the keto rush flare up. Uh, although recently I got back to the gym and I could say it didn't affect my performance. Maybe because I've been on keto for too long. So it could just be a side effect for keto for beginners. Number five, keto breath. <laughs> yes, keto breath stinks. But once you brush your teeth in the morning, it's gone. So um, it wasn't bothering me as much. Number six, hair loss. Mm, never had that. Although it happened to my friend who was on keto though. I mean, she was shocked how much hair she lost during this time. But the symptom did not last forever. So number seven, keto rash. Yep. I mean, if you have not checked out any of my video, you should check out the playlist where I show the pictures and share my stories and my theory behind the keto rash. I mean, I guess none of them actually make sense now since the rash is still here. But stay till the end because I'll show you more. Number eight, heart palpitation. Uh, actually this. Ever since I started going to the gym, I experienced uh, irregular heartbeats. Like how I can feel my heartbeats would start racing out of nowhere. And I even felt like my heartbeats was like skipping. It was definitely a weird feeling. So uh, uh, that was kind of scary. Number nine, elevated cholesterol. I have mentioned about this a few times in my previous video. Yes. My LDL was raised significantly to a point that my doctor was warning me that I should take medicine with that much of cholesterol, cholesterol elevated. But my triglycerides and HDL were normal. So 
Many keto gurus will tell you that not to worry about it because you are not consuming enough carbs to cause problems, but it's something like a shock effect to your doctors, I guess. Number ten, mental health. Well, I added this myself. But when you are on a fat diet like this, your mental health will also be affected. Just know this: that you'll be challenged by your friends, family, doctor, and random stranger on your decision, and you will be challenged with peer pressure. There are more people out there that want to see you fail than succeed. So be prepared for all the facts checks out there by your friends. All of a sudden, people around you will become like this anti-keto gurus, and they'll test you by asking you to eat more carbs. I had people question about my keto choice all the time. So know your facts, understand what you're doing, and be strong to fight back with all these "I told you so" bullies out there. You'll see tons of them when you're on keto. I think this completes my journey with keto diet.、Um, honestly, I have more friends worry about me than laughing at me. So. I'm grateful to have you all join me on this bumpy ride, and this also means my YouTube content is going into a major shift into something different. There's a part of me that want to experience YouTube in Chinese, since it's different markets out there. But I'm not just going to lose all of you yet. We'll see how I feel about after eating carbs, I guess. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for watching. Please leave in comments if you have any thought about this. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you soon. Peace. You might be wondering where my butt crack picture is. I mean, <laughs> I'm not ready to show you my butthole yet. So if you really want to see it, I mean, I guess I'll Photoshop it, and you can DM me on my Instagram. I might or might not show you. I'm just saying. <laughs> Oof. <laughs>